Revolutionary letter number 16. We are eating up the planet. The New York Times takes a forest every Sunday. Los Angeles draws its water from the Sacramento Valley. The rivers of British Columbia are ours on lease for 99 years. Every large factory is an infringement of our God-given right to light and air, to clean and flowing rivers stocked with fish, to the very possibility of life for our children's children. We will have to look carefully, i.e., do we really want, need electricity, and at what cost in natural resource, human resource? Do we need cars when petroleum pumped from the earth poisons the land around for a hundred years, pumped from the car poisons the hard-pressed cities? Or try this statistic, the USA has 5% of the world's people, uses over 50% of the world's goods. Our garbage holds matter for survival for uncounted, underdeveloped nations. If what you want is jobs for everyone, you are still the enemy. You have not thought through clearly what that means. If what you want is housing, industry, GE on the Navajo reservation, a car for everyone, garage, refrigerator, TV, more plumbing, scientific freeways, you are still the enemy. You have chosen to sacrifice the planet for a few years of some science fiction utopia. If what you want still is or can be schools, where all our kids are pushed into one shape, are taught it's better to be American than black or Indian or Jap or Puerto Rican, where Dick and Jane become and are the dream. Do you look like Dick's father? Don't you wish, think your kid secretly wishes you did? If what you want is clinics where the AMA can feed you pills to keep you weak or sterile, shoot germs into your kid while Merck and Co. grows richer. If you want free psychiatric help for everyone so that the shrinks, pimps for this decadence can make it flower for us. If you want, if you still want a piece, a small piece of suburbia, green lawn laid down by the square foot, color TV whose radiant energy kills brain cells, whose subliminal ads brainwash your children, have taken over your dreams. Degrees from universities which are nothing more than slum landlords, festering sinks of lies, so you too can go forth and lie to others on some greeny campus. Then you are still the enemy. You are selling yourself short. Remember, you can have what you ask for. Ask for everything. How much can we afford to lose before we win? Can we cut hair, give up drugs, take job, join Minutemen, marry, wear their clothes, play bingo? What can we stomach? How soon does it leave its mark? Can we, living straight in the straight part of town, still see our people? Can we live if we don't see our people? It is better to lose and win than win and be defeated, said Gertrude Stein. Which would you choose? Yeah.